Hi everyone, welcome back. So ever since I became a makeup artist, I have wanted to film this video so badly, but I just did not get around to doing it. But you know what they say, better late than never. So today I'm going to show you uh, my beloved professional makeup kit uh, and I'll show you how I pack it when I'm going on location and doing my work and I'm going to show you the bazooka bag that I like to carry around all my makeup in that holds all my little babies. So uh, let's jump into uh, this huge goodie bag that I have here that holds all of my professional makeup. So guys, this is my beloved Zuka and uh, it's obviously a stroller which has, you know, a handle up here. So this portion of the Zuka bag also serves as a seat because the framework is so sturdy you can actually make someone sit here and do their makeup. Not that I do that, I actually carry a separate chair. Now uh, this is how it opens up. And this is what it looks like. This zipper here holds uh, a couple of different things. Um, a couple of different uh, eyelash options for my clients. And uh, then this mesh uh, right here holds my beauty blender which is, which if it's damp it dries up because it's a mesh. And you can, uh, you know, put a few things here as well even though I never would use uh, these belts. Now this is my favorite part about the Zuka bag. I have all of these compartments uh, labeled and I have sectioned off all my makeup uh, by each category. And this right here is my brush roll sitting on top of everything. So this is basically a brush belt guys. It uh, holds my lash curler, my scissors. I also keep a spatula right here and of course all the different brushes that I can possibly need. I bought this one from Screen Face in London. It's um, my first brush roll. I've never changed it and I have a lot of sentimental value attached to this. Uh, it can hold up to maybe you know um, about 70 to 80 different brushes comfortably and I really really like this. So after I've removed the brush roll from here, I have five of these compartments. One is right down here, which is why you can't see it. It's right underneath. So I'm going to show you one by one and very quickly um, as to what I carry inside each of these. The first one here says face powders. So this is the one that holds all of the different face powders. The first thing I have here is this amazing Z palette which holds a couple of different blush colors and this is literally everything I need but I obviously have more. My Chanel Translucent Loose Powder, the Ben Nye Banana Powder, a bunch of different highlighters that are essential in any makeup artist's kit. And of course the beloved Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. I've shown this on my channel maybe a thousand times. And then there are some blushers and brow powders. I really really like the Benefit browsings at the moment. So yeah, these are a couple of different powders. I should technically be keeping my contour kit in here but it doesn't fit. So this one right here says lips and it is the most loaded of them all. It holds all of my lip liners and liquid lipsticks, lipsticks and you know a couple of different lipsticks that I've pushed into pill cases and all that, all that good stuff. And yeah this one is pretty heavy and pretty filled up. I don't think I can fit any more stuff in it. Let's quickly break into this stuff. So this little subsection has all my lip liners and uh, lip primers, balms and you know a different bunch of lip things. I recently received uh, a couple of these lip liners from PAC which I'm also really enjoying and I've tried it a few times and they're very long lasting. 
These are my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Minis. I keep a bunch of different chubby sticks and liquid lipsticks in this Ziploc bag. So this was an empty case from Makeup Forever and I took a bunch of different lipsticks and pushed them into these little sections because I was tired of carrying so many different lipsticks. I also like to carry this thing called a lip coat which is an amazing top coat for lipsticks to make them last longer. And of course a bunch of different uh, MAC lipsticks. I don't know any makeup artist who doesn't own their uh, fair share of favorites from MAC. So uh, these are mine. I also really love to use this one from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Mod Pink and I am literally at the bottom of this and I am going to run out of it very soon. I need another one. This is called Mod Pink. It's a really beautiful and universally flattering shade. The next one says Skin Base Makeup and this holds all of my primers, concealers, foundations and um, uh, you know, even liquid highlighters, correctors, color correctors are all in here. So inside this bag you will find a whole lot of uh, makeup forever, lots and lots of foundation and primers and concealers. MAC Pro Longwear in a couple of different shades. Uh, this is a NYX Photo Ready Primer. I also like to use the Bioderma Sibium Pore Refiner on clients who have slightly larger pores. This really helps um, smooth them out. I also like to carry around my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palettes. I don't know what I would do without them. And then this one says eyes and this has a lot of eye makeup in it. I like to keep my glitters and pigments inside uh, little self seal envelopes so that if they leak they don't mess up the whole pouch. So inside the eye makeup bag I have this black box where I keep a bunch of miscellaneous eye makeup things. A couple of different eyeliners. This is the Nykaa Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner, my Duo Eyelash Glue, my Krylon Cake Eyeliner Sealer, a NYX HD Eye Primer. So a bunch of different pencils and eye makeup things. This one holds MAC Paint Pots, gel eyeliners and some single eyeshadows. My three favorite mascaras are here as well, the Benefit They Are Real, the Maybelline uh, Rocket Volume Express and the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So now we've made it right to the bottom and this one isn't labeled because uh, it gets pushed down, you really can't see uh, the label either. This one holds all of my palettes, my Nubian palette, Morphe palettes, Modern Renaissance, and all the single eyeshadows that I've popped into magnetic palettes are right here. So now I'm going to show you the sides of the Zuka bag. So this is one side, many little pockets is what I love about it. And this little pocket here holds my sharpeners, my hand sanitizer and a bunch of different things. I also like to carry this mirror for my clients so that you know they can um, look at their makeup up close. And I also have q-tips right here. I have a bottle of eye makeup remover and I do have some wet wipes as well. And then moving on to the other side. Now inside this side pocket of the Zuka bag, I like to keep another brush roll. Now this is a very very inexpensive brush roll and it's my auxiliary brush roll. And uh, this is what I like to keep in case I meet someone uh, with an infection, a sty or a condition where I don't want to get my primary brushes infected. I would go ahead and use these brushes. 
So guys, this is what the side of the Zuka bag looks like. It has a very sturdy frame and this is a TSC approved size to be used as a carry on. So I never have to check this in and I wouldn't ever check this in because um, all the makeup would get smashed if this goes on the conveyor belt. And I've taken many, many flights with this and I've never had any trouble because it fits in the overhead bin perfectly. <sighs> I'm so happy that I have finally finished filming the what's in my professional makeup kit because I remember I used to dream of having a makeup kit like this when I was back in college and when I just was starting out and I wanted to be uh, you know a full-time makeup artist I, I could only dream of owning a makeup kit like this and now that I do I, I, I mean I have to some days pinch myself to um, remind myself that it's all really true and all my dreams came true so that's all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and until next time bye